Hi there, this is Mr Evans. This video looks at how to calculate uh, the average rate of return. Um, average rate of return is one of the methods of investment appraisal that we need to be able to do in exam conditions. So it's really important that you understand average rate of return and how to uh, calculate it. So um, what is the average rate of return? Well, first of all, it's a method of investment appraisal. Just to remind us, whenever a company conducts an investment, be that in new technology, be that in training its workforce, be that in opening new stores, they want to uh, know, um, are the cash inflows going to be uh, enough to outweigh the cash outflows and enough to offset the risk of that investment as well? Um, so. There are a number of tools that managers have to enable them to compare and um, work out what uh, should happen um, as a result of an investment in terms of cash outflows and cash inflows. So the average rate of return, sometimes also known as the annual rate of return, calculates the average annual profit generated by a project as a percentage of the initial investment. And there is a formula that it's worth uh, knowing for this one. The average annual return divided by the initial outlay times 100. So in other words, how much money does this, uh, how much profit does this project make a year is the first thing we need to know. That's the average annual return, the amount of profit per year divided by the initial cost of the investment and times it by 100. And that will give us a percentage um, figure for the average rate of return of that investment. So um, I'm not sure if they actually had to calculate the average rate of return uh, in this question in Buzz 3 June 2015, but certainly with that information we can do it. Just to remind you, this was a project that had an initial cost of 500 million and then earned these infl uh, inflows and incurred these outflows over a three year period. So we constructed this table when we were looking to calculate the payback. All we need to do is add a column for totals. And in fact, the only totals that we need to work out are the cash inflows and the cash outflows. So uh, when we add together the cash inflows and outflows, well, you can do that now, we get um, the project earned 750 in, uh, million in inflows and an outflows of 622. So the first thing that we see is that uh, the cash outflows included the 500 million initial investment. The inflows is all the money coming in. So we can see initially that, that the inflows outweigh the outflows. So that's a good sign. We know it's going to be profitable. But exactly how much profit is this going to earn us over the three years? Well, easy to work out. We simply calculate the total inflows minus the total outflows. So the project earned a 750, uh, the total cost was 622, giving us a lifetime uh, profit of 127.5 million, assuming that the project is finished after five years. Um, so now we need to work out the average annual profit because remember our formula is the average annual return, the average annual profit divided by the initial outlay. So uh, the average annual return, if it makes 127.5 million in total, um, that's 127 million uh, point five over three years equals an average annual profit of 42.5 million from this investment. Okay, so every year on average, it earns a profit of 42.5 million. So what do we do then? Well, we apply the average rate of return formula. So we calculate the average annual return, which was 42.5. The initial outlay was 500 million. Uh, multiply that by 100 and that gives us a figure of 8.5%. And that tells us that this uh, project earned an annual uh, profit of 8.5% compared to the initial investment.